Icon Moments Deco. A left mid. I'm interested, to be honest. I really didn't expect to see a 91 Deco at left mid this year. We have had a couple of versions of him. We've had center mid in pretty much all three of them, all 91. So we haven't lost that value. But I was a little bit shocked when I saw a left mid. I'm like, I, I didn't know he played there, to be honest. He, he has had some days way, way before me. I remember him in the Chelsea era. I want to say, I feel like I've, I've seen the part of Barca, but when I was very, very little. So I only saw him kind of later on into his career, probably when he's not playing left mid, to be honest. He is a four star, four star. He is right footed, high medium, five nine, and most definitely is not playing left mid. He is going to be in that center field and definitely kicking it about with the best of them. I feel like left mid, he's just not necessarily got that sort of style. Um, for me, he is definitely in the middle, normally a cam, which pretty much every other version of him is an 85. 87 and a 90 all cam cam and cm so definitely he's going to be brought back into that middle we have already whacked a hunter on him he is coming in at about three he's about 310 to 330 normally you can find him for managed to get him on 325 on bid it, will i lose tax probably but in terms of stats pace wise we're looking good we go with that hunter he gets up to 96 his shooting goes up to 91 we've already got some decent passing on him which is Pretty much why he's going to be a cam for me. Dribbling, again, looking pretty star-studded. 92 agility, 86 balance, great composure, dribbling, ball control, and the rest are looking good. Stamina's up there. The only thing he doesn't really have is a bit of strength and aggression, but we can move with that. You keep the ball away from the opponent, and that is how you get the game. I'm just curious, to be honest. I'm really curious to see how this deco does down the wing. To be fair to him, a little bit of a pacey boots going on there. Can we get something? Little ball roll on the inside. Ball control is absolutely fantastic. Oh my. Literally, that would have been probably the best deco goal I've scored. But I'll give it to him. To be fair to him, nice dribbling. Good consistency with it. But still in the middle. Still going down in the middle. Deco looking forward. That's what I like to see from him. Give some open space. Can we find Ben Yedda back into him? And that is absolutely sensational stuff. Brings him wide. The play there is absolutely fantastic. And I'm just looking. With the Hunter, you get 89 positioning. I think that was pretty nice there. He draws the defender out perfectly. Ben Yedda just slots himself nicely. And it's a pretty clean goal from Ben Yedda. Deco again. Going to go for that long ball. It's a solid one. If Varane is, is uh, somebody else, that is a sensational stuff. We find it back with Deco. He actually has really, really nice on-the-ball traits. That is a solid ball into Messi with a hit and hope. I feel like, actually, some of the cams that you probably wouldn't expect. Rui Costa, Deco. <gasps> oh, scramble. I think them them sort of cams, even Nakata, to be fair to him. Yes, there's probably plenty of cams that do the exact same. And, and it's just a highlight because it's a new player. But for me, I think it's, it's wonderful that these players still can be in the team. It isn't necessarily a massive increase, but you just have somebody a bit different to your just standards. And Deco coming in so far straight away in champs with a massive, massive impact. Great play from him. Absolutely uh, kind of just demanding the respect on that field and definitely kind of just taking it to them. Deco. Oh, he's going to just be beaten by Varan. Go for the left foot. Honestly, I'm absolutely blown away with this first half. Absolutely killed it so far for me. Deco. Finding Yedda. Nearly a kickoff goal again. Pushing forward. Oh, Deco. <sighs> We found the play. We just couldn't quite get it out of our feet quick enough. And, and that's a great break for Eusebio. Deco with the interception. Lovely stuff from him. Leads Ben Yedda to go in forward. Going to try a little ping. Just wanted to drop, but unfortunately, not going to go where I wanted it. Oh, Deco with the absolute dummy of dreams. Big ball over to Salah. Have we gone too much? I feel like he's got it. Over Varane. Cuts the inside. Pings it across, and that is just stunning. It's a beautiful dummy from uh, Deco. We'll make sure we get that in. It's a beautiful pass. Salah does very well to turn on Varane, and it's then a lucky goal across. And again into Deco, being a vital, a vital part to this game. Going to find Ben Yedda in. Swing and a miss. Beautiful. Deco again. Sensational.
good interception from Deco. Keeps it as well. I feel like he's got this weird dribbling thing. It's like he almost touches the ball just that split second before the opponent goes to uh, goes to tackle you with it. And it's, it's a weird one. It seems to be working a hell of a lot more than it should do. So I'll absolutely take that back into him. Little one-two with Gattuso potentially. It's a good ball into Ben Yedda. It's going to go for that hit, a car, hit and hope, but... Keeper would have saved this time. So going into the overall for Deco then. Honestly, massively, massively surprised by him. I thought he played absolute wonderful. The dribbling on him was fantastic. Good pace. Just naturally very good at passing and shooting. You know what? He had some attempts. The four star. Four star's lovely. I think overall as a cam... You're looking at a good cam. I'm not saying he's the best, but definitely in terms of the cost, in terms of what he brings to the table, I actually thought he was quite a good player. Yes, that like I say, there is going to be loads of people that are thinking, no, he's not worth it. He's just not. He's just average, and so be it. But at least he actually had a very good almost just natural presence on the ball and he naturally just manages to push forward the first goal kind of set the tone really for the game pushes out wide even though he is in that that kind of central role pushes out wide gets the run Ben Yedda then comes in and it gets an easy pass across there's not many players that have that sort of position and that was throughout the game very easy to find loves to, to kind of push the ball forward his passing is very nice and obviously with a hunter you're looking at a very good attacking player um, I think left midwise probably wouldn't i feel like that one is kind of better off left to left mid and left wings just naturally neymar vinny ansu uh ferran they're, they're all better in that sort some sort of positions really and i think definitely deco is more of your cam based stuff and as we saw with the generations you've got center mids and cams throughout we've seen in these sort of roles cam cam center mid 100 percent you want to be going there in terms of pricing I'd probably say he'd be worth about two to two fifty going forward. I think if you can get him anywhere between three hundred and under, then you're actually getting a deal for the moment. And again, it always depends. Make sure you are checking their market sales, even though it's not necessarily going to be a guaranteed price. Like you may find some people coin transferring and stuff, but. Even if they did buy him for 430, you can see there is a few of them, maybe 350. You've got to kind of just pick your market because they are going down as well as stabilizing at some points of the, the kind of week. But overall, for me, I think he came in quite nice. Yes, like I say, he's got limitations in terms of his stats, but what he can bring to the table was fantastic. Pace was nice, shooting was decent, passing is very good, dribbling, I'd actually say, is, is really, really good. Um, it's kind of an easy one uh, to kind of just brush aside, but I think if you've definitely given him a go, I think you'll be, I think you will be surprised. Definitely bring him in the middle. Don't stick him out wide. He just does not fit that role. Him himself does not fit that role. He's more of a, a kind of midfielder, even a centre mid. To be honest, you could probably get away with that, but I would probably emphasise more on the cam if I was you. Overall wise. I'm going to give him a 9. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. I can't wait to try out some of the higher rated kind of centre mids. Your Hullets, your Vieiras, all of them good stuff. But for now, make sure you do like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.